GameGameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the Zog, the Playbook, Bring you a preview of the Idaho Potato Bowl between Ohio Bobcats and the Utah State Aggies. Let's start with the Bobcats in this matchup to see what they can do to come away with the bowl victory. When you look at the Bobcats offense, two things stand out. They have amazing wide receivers in Le LeVon Brazil and also Riley Dunlop. These guys should have a field day against this secondary of Utah State. They give up a lot of big plays, over 240 yards a game passing. I think that's what Ohio will use to focus their attention on is throwing the football downfield, and they should have some success. And they have to do a better job in the red zone, only converting 49% touchdowns in the red zone. They have to make sure they turn those threes into sevens. Now, defensively, it's all about stopping Ronnie Tur Robert Turbin. If they could shut down Turbin and put the whole focus on that passing game, they have some ball hawking playmakers in the secondary, and they can have a chance. Let's look at the Aggies of Utah State to see what they can do to come away with the win in a bowl game. I look at Utah State's offense, and I like what I see, a team that spreads the football around and makes team make opposing teams cover every quadrant of the field. Now, they have to come in against Ohio Bobcats, and they have to make sure they set the tone early. So look for a heavy dose of Robert Turbin early on in the ballgame, and that's going to open up that offense. Now, where they have an advantage, they have a mobile quarterback. And when you have a mobile quarterback getting outside on the perimeter, puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And this guy can also toss the football around all over the stadium. So... What are they going to come in and do? They're going to have to try to play balance because Ohio does have some outstanding defensive players, especially in the secondary, that can make big plays. Now, defensively, they have to make sure they do something to generate pressure because if they allow these guys to sit back there and toss the football on that secondary, they could find themselves losing big in this ball game. I'm going with Utah State. One thing that I noticed about the Aggies is that they weren't that bad as their record may indicate, these guys lost a lot of close games when they finally figured out how to put it all together for four quarters, and they do so again versus the Bobcats. For more college football previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash college football or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. Follow me on Twitter, guys, at fballgameplan, and listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.